Alhamdulillahirabbil alamin wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba'd habatillah It goes without saying that the aqidah of Ahlus Sunnati wal Jama'ah is the aqidah of the Salaf al Salih and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala praises the sahaba to Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in the Quran as sabaquna al awwalun min al muhajirin wal ansar wa ladina atabuhum bi ihsan radiyallahu anhum wa radu an Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Kitab al-Kareem, and this is in relation to the Sahaba to Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and those who follow them in ihsan ila yawm al-deen. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَسَابَكُونَ الْأَوَلُونَ مِنَ الْمُحَاجِرِينَ وَالْأَنْصَارِ And those who preceded uh, from the muhajirin wal-ansar. The muhajirin meaning those people who made hijra from Mecca to Medina. And the ansar were those who uh, accepted them in from Ahl Medina. And those who follow them in Ihsan, and those who follow them in righteousness. How do you follow someone in righteousness? By following their creed, their itikad, by following their uh, their fiqh, by following their saluk and their manners and adab. So by following their way, their minhaj, their methodology, their aqidah, their saluk, their manners, everything, their fiqh, uh, all of this is following the minhaj of the Salaf and is following the path of the Sahaba, the Sabila Mu'mineen. And Allah is pleased with them and they are pleased with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is uh, the state and status of Ahl Sunnati wal Jama'ah. They're, they're praised by Allah Jal. The Prophet وسلم, said, Alaykum bi Sunnati wa Sunnati Khulafa al Rashidin al Mahdiin. The Prophet said, It's upon you, my Sunnah, and the Sunnah of the rightly guided Khulafa Rashidin al Mahdiin, meaning the rightly guided Khalifa, meaning Abu Bakr, wa Umar, wa Uthman, wa Ali, radiallahu ta'ala, majma'in. And that this was our success. And he, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, said, Kullu bid'atin dalala. And all bid'ah, all innovation is misguidance. Kullu dalalatin fin And all misguidance leads to the hellfire. So that means that the sabiqa mu'minin, the path of the believers, is the path of the sahaba, radiallahu ta'ala, majra'in. And the path of those who follow him. So that lets us know that the tabi'in, who are the students of the Sahaba, radiallahu ta'ala, majma'in, and there's criterion for being a tabi'i. And the itba'a tabi'in, those people who follow them, who are students of theirs. And then those who follow them in righteousness, meaning the uh, imma, the imams, and the general jama'ah of Muslims that have the same creed and the same minhaj or methodology as Ahlul Sunnah, Ahlul Athar, the Salaf al Salih and all the other names, Ahl Sunnati wal Jama'ah, that they are known for in Ahl Hadith. So then it comes, the question comes, as many of our brothers wish to push the issue that they believe the Diobandis and the Ashaira and the Maturidiyya, that they are uh, from Ahl Sunnati wa Jama'ah. But what we find is their uh, itiqad, especially the original ones from them, those sects, which all of those sects and groups and paths came much later than the time of the Itba'a Tabi'in, mostly. And with that being the case, let's look at some of the Salaf, what they said about just some issues of sifat. And you'll see that this is the creed of Ahlul Sunnah because this is the creed of the Salaf al -Salih. We already told you that it is necessary for us to follow the Book of Allah, the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, and the Sahabat al Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam radiallahu ta'ala anhum and then those who follow them in righteousness. And the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, خَيْرَ النَّاسْ قَرْنِي ثُمَّ الَّذِينَ يَلُونُهُمْ ثُمَّ الَّذِينَ يَلُونُهُمْ the best people are those of my generations. Then who follow them, uh, then those who follow them, uh, then, then those who follow them. 
So the Prophet ﷺ let us know that the first three generations are the best. That is known as the Qurun al-Mufaddala. That is known as the best uh, generations. And that makes up the Sahaba the Allah Ta'ala Ibn the Tabi'in, Witba'i Tabi'in. And they codified the creed of Ahl Sunnati wal Jama'ah. And the asl of how they dealt with the sifat of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can be summed up simply as this. Nuthbit ma thabat Allah azza wa jal fi nafsi wa rasuluhu sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So we affirm what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala affirms about himself and what his messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam affirms about him. وَنُنَفِّي مَذَا النَّفَى اللَّهُ تَبَارَكُ وَتَعَالَى عَنْ نَفْسِهِ And we negate what Allah and His Messenger وسلم, negate about Himself, His Self, Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. So this is the way of Ahl Sunnati Wal Jama'ah. And without going into many details about the itiqad or the creed and the various deviations of the Diobandi and the uh, Diobandiya and the Maturidiya and the uh, Asha'ira. Rather, we'll just affirm what does Ahl Sunnah believe in accordance to some of the, just, we'll just take a, some of those early our pious prede- uh, statements of the pious predecessors. Those later groups and sects, they came literally hundreds of years after the hijrah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So when people say we go back to the creed of Imam Abu Hassan al-Ashari, Rahimahullah Ta'ala, or Imam Abu Mansur, or uh, other uh, paths and methodologies, they're talking about people who lived and and died, you know, at least 100 to 200 to 300 years later. And that's the path, that's where they begin their creed and methodology. We're talking about from the book, the sunnah, and the method of the Salaf. We're talking about those first three generations. Let's, let's look at some of the Adilla to show that this is the method of the Salaf. Let's look at the statement of Imam Rabi' ibn Abi Abdurrahman al Mashhur bi Rabi' al Ra'i, who died 136 Hijri. He died 136 years after the Hijrah. So this is early. He is a, a Tabi'i. And it was related in uh, Ibana, the Ibn Batta, Rahmatullah alayhi rahmatun wasia, and Shara Usul al Itikad, Ahlu Sunnati wal Jama'a lil Alalaka'i, Rahmatullah alayhi rahmatun wasia. On Sufyan ibn Ayyena, Qala Su'ila Rabi'a, on Qolihi al Rahman al Arsh Istawa. So, Sufyan ibn Ayyina, rahmatullah alayhi wa rahmatullah wasiyah, he said, I asked Rabi'ah about the statement of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Ar-Rahman ala arsh istawa, the most merciful rose above his throne. He said, Kayf uh, istawa, how did he rise above his throne? Qal, so this is the statement of Rabi'ah, قال الاستوى غير مجهول والكيف غير معقول ومن الله الرسالة وعلى رسول البلاغ وعلينا تصديق. He came with a beautiful statement which sums up the اتقاد of Ahl Sunnah. This is our minhaj and our methodology for understanding the sifat of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. He said الاستوى غير مجهول that Raise, raising, to raise, it's not unknown, meaning it's known. 
But how is not understand, we can't understand it. And from Allah is the message. And uh, upon the messenger, it was upon the messenger to relay that message. And it's upon us to believe. That is a minhaj rabbani. That is a divine methodology for understanding how we deal with the uh, divine names and attributes of Allah Azza wa Jal. This is how the Salaf al Saudi were. Not those later individuals who fell into deviance, and in the case of Imam Abu Hassan al Ashari, he came back to the Aqidah of Ahl Sunnah, and there's evidence, to, uh, strong evidence to support this from his later uh, books that he wrote uh, prior to his death. So we see this minhaj of Ahl Sunnah with regards to Sifat. He said, Al Astawa Ghayr Majhu. You know, it's known, the meaning of Astawa is known in Arabic. And one of its meanings is Irtifa, is, is to raise up or to rise. And he said, Wa kayf ghayr But how? We don't know. So this is why you hear Ahl Sunnah Tiwa Jama'ah say, We believe in these texts, we believe in these divine sifat of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we, we don't go into uh, how, because we don't know how, we can't process how, and we have no evidence from the book and the sunnah to delve into those matters. And we're gonna see that that was the minhaj of the salaf. There's actually athar of the salaf to support that. And I'm gonna give you several athar uh, to close this so that way we can deal with this doubts with the sword of the sunnah, which is based on evidence. And when he said, وَمِنَ اللَّهِ رَسَالَةً You know, the, the message of Islam, the Qur'an, and the Sunnah is from Allah Azza wa Jal. And the message of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam came with it. He articulated it. He practiced it. He showed it and illustrated it for us. And the beautiful last, this is a statement of the Salaf. This isn't my statement. is isn't the Mashayikh of our time. It's not Bin Baz's statement. This is Imam Rabi'ah who died 136 years after the Hijra. He said, وَعَلَيْنَا tasdeeq." Had a minhaj. That's the methodology. He said, it's upon us to believe. This is the difference between Ahl Sunnati wal Jama'ah and a lot of these other sects that go astray with regards to the divine names and attributes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, either negating them or uh, making resemblance between Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his creation or saying, making total a resemblance between Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his creation or just totally negating or making ta'wil as most of the Ashari's uh, do. It was also related in al laqais book, Shara Asul al-Itiqad, Ahl Sunnit wa Jama'ah, Su'il al-Rabi' ibn Abi Abdurrahman an qawlihi al-Rahman al-Arsh istawa faqal al-Istawa ma'kool wa kayf majhool wa iman bih قال ابن جراح واجب والله عز وجل لا يحد. So also uh, Imam Al Alqai he mentioned another author of uh, Rabi uh, Ibn Abi uh, uh, Abdurrahman, in which uh, the, the statement of Allah Ar Rahman Ar Arsh Istawa Ar Rahman the Most Merciful rose above his throne. Uh, he said that astawa it, it's it's known it's you know something we can process ma'kul wakiv majhul but how it's it's unknown we can't describe it and iman bi and believing in it you know having iman pure faith and just believing in that that's tasdeeq and that's uh the the full belief and and submission uh to uh, the 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 meaning and what it what it uh, from the Arabic language. He said, "Qala ibn Jarrah." Ibn Jarrah then said, "Wajib," meaning to have this iman is an obligation. This is uh, the This is the creed of Ahl Sunnah. He said, "And Allah, the Almighty, has no boundaries. There's no limit for Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala." And then uh, Al Hafid ibn Abdul Bar. Rahmatullahi alayhi rahmatullahi wa and his second uh, volume 
in his book uh, Tamheed, I believe, Ofi uh, Istithkar, which is, I think, uh, the sharh of uh, the explanation of Imam Malik's uh, Al Muwatta Imam Malik. He said, "Wusu'ila Rabi ibn Abi Abdurrahman an qol Allah Azza wa Jal al Rahman al Arsh Istawa kala Istawa uhu haq ma haq wa kafiyatu majhula." So he he was asked about this. Uh, this is also a, an ather on Rabi that he was asked about this about uh, the ayat that we mentioned, and he said, uh, "His raising above the throne." This is truthfully, you know, this is, uh, this is known. And he said, but how, the how of it is unknown. Meaning we, we don't know this. Another one of our salaf who died in 176 Hijri, Imam Hamad ibn Abi Hanifa, rahmatullah alayhi, rahmatin wasiya. Uh, in the book, Fi uh, Aqidah to Salaf, Ashab al-Hadith li Abi Uthman al-Sabuni, rahmatullah alayhi, uh, he mentioned, and we won't mention the Isnad, and Qala uh, Hamad ibn Abi Hanifa, he said, Kulna li haulai, araitum kulullah azza wa jal, waja rabbuka wal malaku safan, safan, safa. Qalu, amma al malaika, fuyuji una safan, safa. Wa amma rabb, Ta'ala fa inna la nadri ma anni bidalik wala nadri kayfiyata majihi fukulta lahum inna lam nukalifukum and ta'lamu kayfa jetuhu wala kinna nukalifukum and tukminu bi majihi. Subhanallah. These are, this is the minhaj of the salaf. It's just amazing when we go back to those athar, and I encourage myself and my brothers and sisters, I'm always amazed when I go back to the books of the salaf because you see a lot of these things, they just crushed it and they dealt with it all, <laughs> during their time and they set that, that minhaj, it, 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 it was set in place. But yet still bid'ah and still ahla ahwa appeared and still they deviate and come with arguments to the left and the right and claim that they're ahla sunnah and make ta'an or slander ahla sunnah subhanallah listen to this athar and i think we're gonna because i want to keep this concise there's so many i thought i wanted to to read but i think it it will be too long so what he, uh imam uh hamad ibn abi hanifa rahmatullahi he said he said, and we said to those people, Araitum Have you uh, you know seen the statement of Allah the Almighty? And your Lord came with the angels, with the angels in rows, you know, they were in rows. Uh, they said, as for the malaika, then they come in rows, Safan Safa. And as for the Lord, the Almighty, for verily we do not know uh, about that, anything about that. And we do not know how he will come. You know, how his maji is. We don't know how his maji is. So then Imam uh, Ibn Abi Hanifa, Abi Hanifa, he said, he said to those people, he said, verily, you are not required to know how Allah comes. However, you are required to believe in his maji that he, he comes. al kafiya majhu. We don't know how, but we believe it. We affirm it because Allah says it about himself. That is in essence the i'tiqad of ahl sunnah i'm going to give you a couple statements of imam uh, malik so just be you know when i see these people responding to when we talk about the sifat of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala they always give me imam haythami who died i believe like 900 hijri 800 years after the people we're talking about we're talking about the salaf as-sadiq here's a statement of imam malik that no one 
uh, I think from the Ummah of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa he has Kabul. He's accepted. He's one of the Imams of the, he's one of the Fuqaha. Fuqaha al-Arba. That has a madhab that the people follow. Let's look at what is his Aqeedah was, the Aqeedah of Ahl Sunnah. He was from the Salaf al-Saleh. He was from, uh, uh, Imam Malik was a Tabi'i. Here's what Imam Malik said. And he died 179 Hijri, and I think we'll stop there. Uh, it was related on, uh, that Imam Malik said, and this is an uh, Asma'i wa Sifat, the Imam Bayhaqi. He said, Kunna inda Malik ibn Anas, Fajar Rajalun Fakal. So we were with Malik Imam, uh, we were with Malik ibn Anas. Rahimullah Ta'ala, meaning Imam Malik. Faqa, uh, then a man came, Faqal, Ya Aba Abdullah, Ya Aba Abdullah, O oh, the son of Abdullah. Ar Rahman al Ars Istawa, he read the ayah. The most merciful rose above his throne. Kaiba Istawa. So this man, they, they were with him, and, and then this man came and he asked about the ayah. He said, How? Did the most merciful rise above a stone? How is this? How how did he do it? You know, and I will, you know, give us give me a description of it. Imam Malik with the famous Afar, he said, Malik Rahda. So Imam Malik, he he bowed his head and he began to sweat profusely. When he heard this statement, look at the difference between the Salaf. We take Shubahat and we're just easy with it. We laugh and joke with Ahl Bid'ah. May Allah forgive us. But they were so serious about the religion of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and defending it and being the the, the awliya of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah have mercy upon all the Salaf al-Salih. Ameen, Ya Rabbil Alameen. So he began to sweat profusely. And thumma qal, then he said, al-istawa ghayra majhul. What cave ghayra ma'kul? He said the istoa, al istoa, uh, the raising. This is known. This is n or this is not unknown, which means it's known. Ghayra majhul. It's it's not unknown to us because we know the meaning in the Arabic language. We know what it means. And he said, well, cave ghayra ma'kul, and how is not is incomprehensible. Well, iman bihi wajib, and believing it is an obligation. Wusu'al anhu bid'ah, and asking about it is an innovation. Wama araka illa mubtadi'ah, fa amra bihi an yakhruj. So he said, and asking about it is an innovation. And I do not see you except that I believe you are a mubtadi'ah, you are an innovator. And then he commanded him to leave his gathering, leave his study circle. This is the way of the Salaf al-Salih. Then there's the statement of Imam al-Hafid Hamad ibn Zayd ibn Durham, who died 179 Hijri. And this was uh, collected, you'll find the statement in Ibn al-Kubra, the Ibn Baqba. And he said, and Bashir ibn Suri سأل حماد بن زيد فقال يا أبا إسماعيل الحديث الذي جاء ينزل الله عز وجل لسماء الدنيا قال حق ذلك كيف يشاء كيف كيف شاء الله طيب in إبانة الكبرى uh, it was related that بشر ابن سري he asked حماد بن زيد and he said, O oh, father of Ismail, the hadith which uh, was collected or related, Yanzal Allah Azza wa Jal in the Sama al Dunya, as is a well known hadith of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Uh, which means Yanzalu, and another narration, Yanzalu Rabbuna, uh, 
yanzilu rabbuna tabarak wa ta'ala kullu thulatha layl al akhir fi yaqul that Allah descends to the lowest heaven every last third of the night so he, he was asking about this hadith and he said uh, so the response by imam uh, hamad ibn zaid he said haqqul dhalik he said all of that's the truth kayf sha Allah kayf sha Allah how Allah uh, willed. Meaning that the minhads of the Salaf was affirming what Allah affirmed and negating what Allah aff- negated about himself. And affirming what the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam affirmed about Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala and negating what the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam negated about Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala without asking how, without negating it, without going into uh, details about things we don't know. And without making a resemblance between Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his creator, creation. What is what does Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala say? Tabarak wa ta'ala, fi kitab al-kareem. Laysa kamithli shay wa sumi'un basir. There is nothing that resembles him. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, there's nothing. Then there's ithbat. There's a negation and there's an affirmation in this ayah. Laysa kamithli shay. There is nothing that resembles him. And then Allah, what does Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala do? He affirms that he is divine sifat. And he is the all-hearing, all-seeing. I hear, an ant communicates, maybe it hears. All kind of animals hear. Our hearing is not like Allah's. And Allah, his, he is free from uh, any imperfections. We have nuks. We have imperfections. We are limited. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala hears and sees everything. He's the all hearing. He's the all seeing. Yeah, all seeing. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala affirmed these attributes for himself. Ahlul Sunnah affirms those attributes for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And then in another, uh, in another athar, this is the athar of uh, Abdullah bin Mubarak. Rahmatullahi alayhi wa rahmatullahi wa rahmatullahi who died 181. We haven't even got to 200 Hijri. 181 Hijri. And you're going to tell me about someone in uh, Tisamiya, 900 Hijri or 800 Hijri. I'm, I'm telling you people who, who died 800, you know, 700 years prior. The Salaf of Saleh. That's the Aqidah of the, of the Salaf. That's the Salafi Aqidah is the Aqidah of Ahl Sunnah. It's the aqidah of the Salaf al-Salih. It's the aqidah of Ahla Athar. It's the aqidah of Ahla Hadith. So Imam uh, Abdullah bin Mubarak, who's well-known to also in Imam Sabuni's book uh, is mentioned, and the Abdullah bin Mubarak su'ila an nuzul layl nisf min sha'ban. That uh, Abdullah bin Mubarak, rah- uh, rahimahullah ta'ala, was asked about Allah descending uh, in half the night during the month or uh, during the night uh, in the uh, halfway through the month of Shaban. فقال, فقال uh, Abdullah ya ضعيف ليلة النصف ينزل في كل ليلة فقال الرجل يا أبا عبد الله كيف ينزل طيب so then he said uh, he said عبد uh, عبد uh, الله that's weak he said uh, the ليلة النصف you know the the you know uh, basically uh, half the night or during during that time, he said, rather, rather he descends every night. Uh, and then the man said, Oh Abu Abdullah, cave uh, How does he descend? Asking about Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. How? There it is, the cave again. Ahl Bidah always has either Ahl Bidah or someone who is just totally jahil going in and trying to know information they don't need to know. They're not asked. That's not going to help them in their ibadah. Kaiba Yanzum, how does he descend? He respond, He said, Alaysa yakhlu valika makan minhu. So this is beautiful. So then he says, you know, basically, if he descends, doesn't that mean that the place that he's in now 
will be empty from, from you know, his presence? What did he say? What did Abdullah bin Mubarak give that in this Athar Salafiyah? Or Athar Salafi? He said, فقال, فقال Abdullah yanzuru kayfa yasha. This is the minhaj of Ahl Sunnah. He, he descends how, he, how he, he wills. That's it. We don't know further. We don't know how. We don't know the kayfiyah. We don't make a resemblance. We just know Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala rose above his throne and we know he descends every last third of the night to the lowest uh, heavens, into the dunya. This is what we know. We just don't, we don't go beyond that. And we don't ask how. We don't say, oh, in China it's this time, in Seattle it's this time, in Philly it's this time, in Saudi Arabia it's this time. And we don't ask about Makan and things like this. That wasn't the way of the Salaf. As you see, the Salaf, the, the way they dealt with these things, it was just Iman. That's what Allah commands us to. A'udhu billah min shaitan rajim, bismillah rahman rahim, alif naam meem, thalik al-kitab al-la rayba fi, hulin al-muttaqeen, al-ladhina yu'minuna bil-ghaybi, wa yu'kinuna salat, wa mimma razaqna hum yunfikun. What is the sifat of the mu'mineen? Allah mentions, uh, this is a book in which there contains no doubt. It's a guidance for the pious ones. Then Allah describes who is Ahl Iman, who is Ahl Sunnah, who is Ahl Piety, the people of piety. Those who believe in the unseen, they don't question it, they don't ask about its characteristics, they believe in it. That's it. And they establish the prayer and they spend in what was provided for them and what they're provided uh, with from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, who's our razak. And the last athar I'm going to end this with, Ru'ya Abu Bakr al athram on Fudayl ibn Iyad, annuhu qal, and this is Fudayl ibn Iyad. Rahim Allah Ta'ala, who died 187 Hijri. And he said, It is لَأَنَّ اللَّهَ تَعَالَى وَصَفَ نَفْسُهُ فَأَبْلَغْ فَقَالْ قُلْ هُوَ اللَّهُ أَحَدْ اللَّهُ السَّمَدْ لَمْ يَلِدْ وَلَمْ يُولَدْ وَلَمْ يَقُلْ لَهُ كُفُوَ نَحَدْ فَلَا صِفَ أَبْلَغْ مِمَّا وَصَفَهُ وَصَفَ بِهِ نَفْسُهُ So, uh, Imam Fudayl ibn Iyad, Rahmatullah Ali, Rahmatullah Wasiyah, he said, it is not for us to be uh, flustered and, and uh, to be weak in our understanding about, uh, about uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and how, how, he, how he is. You know, to know about his sifat dhatiya, to go into depth and talk about the kafiyah. You know, that's, that's something we're not asked to do. So he says, because Allah the Almighty described himself in the best of ways, the best of ways, the most articulate, the most beautiful and concise in, uh, pro, you know, profound of way, profound ways. And he said, and then he mentioned Surah Al-Qul uh, Allahu Ahad, Surah Al-Ikhlas, and then he says, فَلَا سِفَ أَبْلَغْ مِمَّا وَصَفَ بِهِ نَفْسُهُ And there isn't a characteristic which is more, can be better articulated than the way that he described himself. Meaning we don't need to describe Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in any other way in his divine sif sifat other than what he described himself. So we don't have to change the meanings like the Isha'ira and say, well, you know, that's not befitting Estoa. It means Estola. Oh, this means power. This means this. We don't need to do that because we don't know the kafia. We don't have to go into those details. And that doesn't la yastelzim a tashbi. It doesn't necessitate 
Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala describes that he hears and sees, that his hearing and seeing is like ours. It doesn't necessitate that. That is from the uh, the way, that's from inferences, philosophical inferences, which is what the Aqidah of the Asharis and the Diobandis and the Naqshabandis and the Maturidiyya is built upon. Because they're fleeing from one bid'ah to another bid'ah. May Allah guide us in them. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil.